Hi wonderful people, so today I am going to be doing a review video about the Chanel 20K Fall Winter Act 2 collection. I'm really, really excited because recently I just opened or I did an unboxing for my Chanel Coke Candle in Yellow recently. If you haven't seen that, um, go, definitely go check it out. It's from the 20K collection. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Derek. I do all things luxury related here on this channel. So if you like that kind of stuff, definitely subscribe to this channel and also press the notification button to be notified whenever I post a video on this channel and also press the like button as well because it definitely helps out the algorithm. If you click one thing, they're all kind of close to each other, so I might as well click the other. So yeah. So let's actually get right into it. First bag, it is a small flat bag. It has like, it's pretty much like a square flat bag, cl like the classic kind of flat bag. But then it has like a ruffle kind of like shoulder situation. I don't know. I think it's like a little weird. I've seen it on previous seasons that they did like the ruffle kind of strap thing. I thought it was weird. I feel like it's not going to do anything. But if you like it, you know, I do like the color though because I've really been wanting like a white Chanel bag for like the longest time. At the same time, like people are telling me like, no, stay away from white. You're going to get dirty. But then we also have like a same concept with like the ruffle thing, but in black and then it's like more of the rectangle kind of shape opposed to the square shape so I think both can do without the ruffles I don't think that they're adding to anything that's just me so then we have like this bucket bag which is in like a shearling lambskin and gold matte metal and I don't hate it to be honest with you guys. also have a flat bag in Sherling. It's white, but this one is a little more pricey because it's 7000 The other two that I felt like it was reasonable priced um, Sherling material. It's not like leather, so price point, it's not bad. At least I don't think so. Like the kind of like crystals on the chain and like on the CC logo. I think it's really, really cute. And honestly, like, if I had the money, I would totally get it. Not gonna lie. I think, like, everything is just, like, really glam. It's definitely a winter kind of bag, so I really do like this bag, to be honest with you guys. Um, next bag, it is also the bucket bag, but this time, pretty much same concept as before. This one has a, it still has, like, the gold matte kind of hardware this has like the crystal kind of like chain and then i really like this like cc detail at the chain i think that's really really cute and then like the like buckle area is also cc with crystals all over it i think it's called baroque but i'm not sure don't quote me on that but it pretty much is like resin and pearls and crystals I don't know. Like this green color kind of looks a little weird. I'm not going to lie. It's not like the prettiest green, but it's kind of like not a green that I would gravitate towards too. I don't know. It's just not doing anything for me. And then we also have like these diamond shaped bags. I think that's really, really cute. What I get it not really but I do think the concept is cute because it kind of reminds me of like the quilted diamonds that they normally have like on their bags so I think it's a great like kind of take on that and like they took inspiration I, I want to believe I don't know don't quote me on that so then we have like this cocoa handle and turquoise kind of color it's the mini flap I believe that this is the newer size of the mini. So then there are these small flat bags that are kind of like crumpled, like, I don't know. I'm not like the biggest fan of it, but it's kind of reminds me of like a puffer jacket that's like squished. It doesn't even look like a nice puffer kind of like bag, but to be honest with you guys, it's not the cutest. So, yeah. I do like this drawstring bag, but this like bucket kind of bag but I don't like the sh 
handle for the strap and I'm not too crazy about the cinching in kind of part. I wish they did something different with the drawstring. So, I don't know, I'm just... That would be like, I'm on the fence with that. So then there is a small flat bag in tweed with gold hardware. I actually would totally get this. I think just because I'm really wanting a white Chanel bag, so even if it's tweed. So then this clutch, mm, I think it was like a second afterthought kind of design for it, to be honest. This large drawstring bag, I think it's really cute. I love the chain detailing on it that's going across the bag, and it looks like it might be on the side of the bag as well. Price-wise, it's actually... I was gonna say it's not that bad, but it is good up there. I think it's because of the chain detailing, which makes it a little more pricey. This bucket bag with like this two-toned kind of like color block kind of situation going on, um, like this black and brown. I'm not all that crazy about, like I'm not loving it. I don't know, I think like maybe just like the color combination and like how they have it, it mm, I don't know. I'm definitely going to pass on that, but I do like how they have a thicker like kind of like strap on it, so I think that's really cute. So then we have like this flat bag with pearls and like chains. I actually really like the concept of the strap being like two different. I do like this concept, I do like this look, um, I think it's really cute, I would get it. Then now we're getting into the Chanel 19. A part of me kind of like the Chanel 19 and then a part of me hates it. I think I like it just because I see it like a lot and then it kind of makes me kind of want one, but then at the same time the reason why I think I wouldn't like a Chanel 19 is because how unstructured it is and I like bags to be more structured than like floppy and just like kind of like malleable. So then we have a shopping bag with like this kind of like folded situation like this lazy kind of like folded kind of moment. <laughs> um, and so then again with the pearls and like the chains and like the leather woven through. I like that strap kind of detailing. So then we have more shopping totes. I really like the mix God, that's actually really cute. <laughs> I like how the letters are all kind of like different. I love that actually. They're all different and each letter is like something different. I think that's really really cute. We also have like this large silver flat bag. I think it's actually really really cute. I've seen like styles of this before from other collections because it reminds me of like a classic flat but I just not too sure about the structure. I feel like it wants to be a little squishy or a little like malleable and it's not like structured so I think, I don't know, I think I would have to see it in person but I would totally get this bag because I do like the chain detailing that's like kind of like along like the edge of the bag. Okay, this velvet moment. I think this velvet moment for this cocoa handle is so cute. I love the detailing of like the crystals around the CC and then like on like the around like the handle. I think it's really really cute. I'm just not too sure about velvet. I'm not sure if I would dirty it. I probably will. Like the poor stories about how velvet can actually like the wear and tear on it like after a while can kind of get like really bad so I don't know but I would totally get this bag. I honestly would. And I liked the crystals. But then again with the Chanel 19, but then this has like that detailing where it has like that Chanel ribbon kind of like going in and out of the bag. And then this crumpled calfskin flat bag again previously, like I said before about the silver one, I think it's cute. I think this black one's cute as well. I really, again, love the chain detailing that's kind of like going along the bag. But then we have like this sequin 
mini flat bag. Um, it's really interesting. Would I get it? No. Yeah, I would it. <laughs> then this white iridescent reissue bag. I think this is really, really cute. With the silver tone. I think it... Yeah. So it's like a silver tone hardware, but it's like not shiny and it's not ruthenium. It's more of like a matte kind of silver. And we have like these fun like little Chanel perfume bottle bags, which is like a collectible kind of item. It doesn't even tell you the price of it because you know that it's going to be expensive. So that's how you know when they ask or when they say price upon request. You know it's going to be really, really pricey because it's most likely going to be a collectible kind of item. But hopefully you guys are interested new by watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel if you like anything luxury related. And hopefully you guys are interested new by watching this video. And have a wonderful day because you're wonderful and don't forget it. Alright, bye guys.